Now, if you don't have the big bucks to go to the Super Bowl, it's fine. We get it. SoFi parking, it's expensive, but you can still enjoy the NFL experience downtown. That's right. Fans can head to the LA Convention Center for a dazzling interactive experience. Kids can test their football skills and see displays that celebrate the history of the NFL. KTLA's Christina Pascucci joins us live from there with more on the excitement. Christina. I'm smiling so big <laughs> under this mask, you guys. There's so much to show you. I don't know where to start. So why not start with the best? This is the Vince Lombardi trophy. And Dan Kitchen, who works at the NFL, this isn't a replica. No, this is the real deal, the one and only. The NFL is one of the few sports that has one trophy and one trophy only. So people are waiting in line for about an hour to see this. What else can people see when they come down here? At least an hour. Sometimes this line's up to three. We've got punt, pass, and kick. All 55 Super Bowl rings, the Wilson Football Factory here, and fans can run the 40 yard dash against the LED version of their favorite NFL players. Thomas, let's just give people a view of what it looks like. Lo and behold, behind you, if you can pan around and just show them, there's people waiting in line to take pictures with uh, the different Rams outfits, all the different uh, jerseys, I should say. And also, let's show you video of this. If you guys want to go to the NFL shop, you can. It is open, it is free to all. Uh, until you buy that expensive merch. And what happens is they have the largest display of Super Bowl merch that you can get, including the actual emblem on the jersey. They have exclusive pop-up art from Charles Fazzino. They have blinged out helmets as well as autograph signings from players. And I spoke to Rams wide receiver Tutu Atwell. His first season with the Rams, he unfortunately is injured, but he's meeting fans ahead of the big game and talked about what his teammates are doing to get ready. It's just a blessing, man, to be um, with the Rams. Um, got drafted last year. I uh, was proud, uh, second round. And um, it just, like I said, it's just a blessing, man. I'm uh, very happy and excited for my teammates. And I'm just ready to go and be there for them. The Rams are going to get it, aren't they? You're going to get it. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely really fun. It's nothing like I expected. I expected it just to be like a bunch of games and stuff. But getting to meet all the players and take pictures was really cool. All right, you guys, we're going to give you a perspective. Right now, let's show you live what the Super Bowl rings used to look like. This is the first one ever, right, Dan? First one ever. This is the evolution of the ring. It started as a tiny rock. It's now the size of my fist. Pretty incredible. Yeah, OK, so Thomas, if you can back up carefully, we're going to show you guys what the Super Bowl rings look like now. And we'll put the magnifying glass on it. Dan, tell us about this. Yeah, so this is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Ooh. ring from last year. Tom wow. Brady brought it home. That thing is massive. Oh, wow. my gosh, right? They have a lot of security around here, guys. <laughs> Share sure. Page, I'll throw it back it's to almost you. as big as Cher's <laughs> ring. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> there's so much you can learn there, Christina. Has any uh, a fan actually beaten an NFL player in the 40-yard dash? Good question. Yeah, because they have all the demos here you can do, which, by the way, we will do at 6 o'clock. Uh, but Cher was asking, has any person ever beat a, uh, the player's record for the 40-yard dash here? Well, I've seen a couple of fans come close. A couple beat them, but they got a false start. So ah. I don't know. It's tainted. It's tainted. Ah. <laughs> there you have it. There you go. So you're talking about like a 429 <laughs> or something like that. That's fast. Thank you so much, Christina, for that.